for a new cage update. <coughs> this is the new guinea piggy pen I got off of Wayfair. The apartment rule says they have to be caged, so I couldn't, you know, take their wooden pen. But fortunately, I was able to find a pen that was huge enough for Katie and Jellybean. And they seem to be happy in it, you know. It didn't take long for them to adjust and get used to it. That's their little hay river. On Thursday, you know, I had, you know, cleaned everything. But with this new pen, I was able, you know, they're able to have like a little, you know, a big hideout. Which the roofs, the roofs on the sides open up. Jelly beans in here with a little hay stash that's almost gone. They ate that up quickly. And this I can open up to give them veggies. And a little fishing net was to clean out their bowl, their water bowl. Because these two, yes, I'm talking about you and you. <laughs> you two like to try to drink while food is still in your mouths. And this happens. That happens right there. <laughs> now you can't look at me and say I did it. Because um, I tell you all the time. You can't try to drink with food. You know still in your mouth at the same time. Because it's going to drip in your water bowl. I mean I can only do that with my water bottle. Because it's a bottle. And the way I drink it I hold it up. <laughs> so the food's not going to go back in the bottle. <laughs> But anyways, you see they ate most of their hay river. It's their little edible log bridge. And her tunnel, they kind of turned it crooked. It was, you know, straight like this. But <laughs> they they turned it. Which, you know, is not surprising. They do that all the time. But this is actually a really good pen. It's a little bit bigger than all their previous pens combined. And it's a lot easier to clean out because I can just close them in one part of the pen, you know. I can close them in here, clean out the rest of that, replace everything, let them out in here, close that again, and then clean this. On the inside, and a little hay stash. And as you can see, this a little slide door that they have which also makes it easier if you have to pick them up and take them somewhere or pick them up to clip their claws but hey look, got a new place so yeah it's been a really long time since I did a cage update and that's because I had a lot going on you know got a new job I finally moved out and got my own place. And I'm kind of, I know I sound kind of tired right now. Because, you know, I had a long weekend of work. This is basically the first day off I had since, you know, the weekend. And a lot of other crap's been going on as well. My roommate's no longer with me. Unfortunately. Well, both fortunately and unfortunately. Because, you know, we kind of, we kind of spiraled down in our relationship as friends. I'll just say that. You know, a lot of arguments, you know, and drama. So she ended up moving out and leaving me hanging. You know. Of course, the cat went with her, you know, she took the cat. You know, the cat was, you know, her family member. <clears throat> And my family still comes up to visit. They actually came up for my birthday and we all got to enjoy the pool. But anyways, the guinea piggies, they seem to be okay with their new pen. Unfortunately, the apartment says they had to be caged. So that's why I got this instead of being able to take their wooden pen. But it's actually an upgrade from the wooden pen as well. Because this is a lot easier to clean. All you have to do is just close them off in one area, take everything up. Because I got a little vacuum cleaner, I could just vacuum around it. <clears throat> you know, after I swept up everything, I can just vacuum all the little bits. 
And this is, like, this thing doesn't really have a bottom either. I pretty much laid out a tarp, and I set the pen on top of it. And then what I did was open up, climb inside, and I put the... I climbed inside, and I laid the pads down, and then sprinkled the bedding down. Of course, you know, sitting everything in place. It is big enough for a small person like me to climb, to actually climb in there. So that's what's good about it. Like, you can actually climb in there if you're, like, my size. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one of the advantages of being small. But anyways. It's a lot bigger than, you know, both their previous pens. So they have more space to run around. But these two like to nap instead. Of course, Katie and Jellybean will still bug each other, kind of get on each other's nerves. At first, I had their food bowl closer to the, you know, to the hideout. But then they started fighting over it because I realized both of them couldn't squeeze to the food bowl. So I set the food bowl on the outside. Because the water bowl is bigger, I set that on the inside. So both of them will be able to reach the water bowl. And both of them will both will be able to reach the food bowl, you know, once they come out. And that would be a lot easier for all of them. And if they needed more food at the time, which they hardly ever eat up all their food before the end of the week. Well, before cleaning the, the weekly cleaning day. <clears throat> if they need more food or water, I can always, you know, take their bowls out or I can just lift up the roof. Put more food in there and fish the bedding and hay out of their water. But with this new bedding I ordered offline, it hasn't really gotten in their water bowl. So, so far the only thing that's gotten in their water bowl is hay and food. Which I can't really prevent that because these two, they like to drink with their mouths still stuffed with food. Kind of like how people try to drink out of a cup. Like, they'll stuff food in their mouth and try to drink, you know, out of a cup and end up getting food in their drinks. These two do exactly that. <laughs> it's funny, like, right after I clean it on Thursday, next few minutes, I see there's a whole bunch of food in the bottom of the bowl. And I'm like, seriously? And they look up at me like, what? <laughs> And of course, they still get their veggies every day. I have plenty now since, you know, my mother was in town. She went to Whole Foods and she offered to pick up, you know, some stuff for me. So I sent her the money X for some veggies. So they have plenty of veggies right now that they can eat. So that way, which actually Thursday, I did like a veggie mix in their veggie mix with their food. With celery, carrots, romaine lettuce, and, uh, what was that last thing? Celery, romaine lettuce, carrots, and cucumber. Yeah. <clears throat> and pretty much I get the veggies every day. Like, I don't give them a whole mix every day. I'll give them one veggie every day. And, like, one type of veggie every day to eat. And then on Thursday, I'll do a mix of chopped up veggies in their food. And I figured that's easier because, you know, I usually don't have much time, at, much downtime after work. Because, you know, my job, I'm there like all day. Basically 10 hours a day during the weekend. And plus, you know, plus they're happier getting, like, a big veggie to munch on for the day. So that way they don't constantly have to be fighting over the bowl. But, ever since we got this new place, you know, they've been taking well to their new pen. And most of the time, they would be in their hideout. Which, you know, I also put a little hay stash at the back, you know, whenever I place the bedding and everything. Or they'll be out here munching on their little hay river. 
still. Yep. Anyways, that's all for today's update.